All right, so once we have our um, credentials for Amazon stored in the, the tilde.fog file, we're able to actually create new instances and list running instances. Um, so again, we've added the AWS access key ID <clears throat> and secret access key to tilde.fog. Um, so now the first thing to do when creating a new EC2 instance um, is to find an AMI image that's all out there that you'd like to use. So I've selected a um, the official Ubuntu AMIs, um, and I'm using the official image for um, 10.04, which is the long-term stable release uh, for Lucid. So with the AMI um, selected, we can go ahead and, and create a new instance. Um, it's important to remember that the way Amazon works is um, when a, a new instance is created, a SSH public key is added to um, the authorized keys file of one of the accounts that allows you to log in to the newly created instance. Um, so the other thing that we need before we can create an Amazon image is um, to know the name of the SSH key pair that we want to use. Um, and this is a little bit confusing with, with AWS, but I'll go ahead and show you now. Um, so if we do puppet node AWS list key names, um, you can see that I've got one key name, um, and this is in the default region of US East for Amazon. Um, and this is the SSH public key that will automatically be added um, to the image uh, or to the instance that we create, allowing me to log in. Um, so this Jeff initial, um, this is my public key for SSH. You can see these in the Amazon console um, if you log in and then go to, to EC2 and then go down to key pairs. Um, so you could actually create a new key pair if you'd like and it will download the private key to you as a PEM file. Um, so you can see here that I've added that private key to my SSH agent. Um, so that's this Jeff initial dot pen. Um, so now when the new instance in EC2 is created, I'll have my private key loaded in my SSH agent and I'll be able to log into the new machine. Um, so let's go ahead and, and create that now. Um, the create action will expect this name. Um, so we'll do puppet node AWS create. Um, we also need to give it the type of instance um, to create. So I'm going to, um, this particular Ubuntu image, it's 32 bits, so it could be at t1.micro, um, which are fairly inexpensive to run. And then the image ID, um, this is the Ubuntu 10.04 32-bit image, and then the key name which is Jeff initial. Okay, and then so Puppet Enterprise at this point will communicate with Amazon Web Services. It's going to use the credentials that we added to the tilde.fog file. And now it's going to launch a new server instance for us. Um, this can take anywhere from one minute to five to 10 minutes, depending on um, how Amazon is currently running. Um, and then the create action will give you the public DNS name of the newly created instance. Um, so also in Amazon's web console, my default security group allows SSH access. Um, security groups in Amazon are similar to firewalls um, that you might typically run. Um, so we can see here uh, in our security groups, the default security group allows um, SSH inbound. So that, that's what allows us to log in to the new instance. If we don't have SSH opened up on port 22 um, in the security group, then we won't be able to SSH into the newly created instances. Um, so let's go ahead and go back. And um, sometimes it can take a few minutes for the new instance to boot up. Um, with the Ubuntu machine, 
the default account that you log into is just named Ubuntu. It's um, it's not root like it like it is for some other um, systems. Okay, um, so we get a SSH known hosts um, entry. You should be able to to verify the fingerprint um, with the console output of the machine. Um, or using the fingerprint action on node AWS. But um, as you can see, um, we've logged into the new instance that we just created with Cloud Provisioner, and it hasn't been up for very long, um, only one minute. So that's um, a brief demonstration of how to create new instances. Um, you can also see the instance. So I just logged out of that um, Cloud instance. We can see that with Puppet Node AWS List. Um, so we can see here that I've got the instance I just created, which is currently running, and um, an instance that I created and terminated earlier this morning. Um, these show up generally for a couple of hours before they, they won't show up in the, the list anymore. Um, so that's that's it for creation. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to installing Puppet onto the newly created node.